about content, and at the same time, I want you to know that the age of content is over. Now, I know that sounds crazy what I'm saying. So let me explain. Content was king. But there's a new kingdom that's being built, and it's called context. Content is uh, overwhelming. It's too much. It's too much information. That's where we're at now. We're overloaded. Um, hopefully your cell phones are on silent, but everyone just got something here since I've been sitting here. Something's been going on. Phone call, tweet, call, something. If you log in, there's something happening. It's information overload. Uh, nowhere you, there's nowhere to go to run from information. It's everywhere. You know, when you type in a search like professional development, you get like 60 million responses. And which one do you go to, right? You do a search on Google, you get 72 million uh, links, right? So the key now is who can create a context for the content? So who can make the content have meaning now? How do we take this content, this video, and put it in the context of a discussion or a presentation or a line of thought that brings meaning to it? This is what we have to begin uh, to do. Are you all following me? Does this make sense? So context is very important. So we see examples of this all around us. LinkedIn created a great site full of content about people's profiles and resumes and all of that. But now they've realized what it's become and they've created context to say, you know what, we're a recruiting site. That's what we are now. We deal with corporations and we're really kind of a place to find uh, talent. And we're going to stay within that context. Google started Google Plus to say, we're not going to just be Google, we're going to be Google Plus. And Google Plus says you can start your own circles and create what are the exact feeds of information that I want from my circle of uh, uh, business friends or social friends, whatever I'm interested in, whatever topic I'm interested in, bring me the information that I want in the context of this. So these companies are recognizing that they have to make a shift. All this just content flowing at us is not helping. we got to find a way to organize this and make sense of it. So who's winning today? Who's going to win? Who's going to be the next frontier? Are the businesses who can bring context to the content that's out there being created?